Welcome to Selenium Master Video Tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use Selenium to library keywords, dismiss alert, confirm action, choose OK on next confirmation, choose cancel on next confirmation in your robot framework test script. When testing modern web applications, in some cases, you need to work with confirmation or alert window on the web page. So using Selenium to library keywords, you can dismiss alerts by using various keywords like dismiss alert, confirm action, choose OK on next confirmation, choose cancel on next confirmation. Dismiss alert returns true if alert was confirmed and it returns false if it was dismissed. This keyword will fail if no alert is present. Please remember that following keywords will fail unless the alert is dismissed by this keyword or another like get alert message. That means there should be an alert on the web page. So alert is a kind of JavaScript that will display a pop-up or a warning window on the web page. Confirm action dismisses currently shown confirmation dialog and returns its message. By default, this keyword chooses OK option from the dialog. If cancel needs to be chosen, keyword choose cancel on next confirmation must be called before the action that causes the confirmation dialog to be shown. Choose OK on next confirmation. So choose OK on next confirmation undo the effect of using keyword choose cancel on next confirmation. Please remember that Selenium's overridden window.confirm function will normally automatically return true as if the user had manually clicked OK. So you shouldn't need to use this command unless for some reason you need to change your mind prior to the next confirmation. After any confirmation, Selenium will resume using the default behavior for future confirmations. Automatically returning true or OK unless you explicitly use choose cancel on next confirmation for each confirmation pop-up. The last one is choose cancel on next confirmation. This keyword will cancel the pop-up by clicking on the cancel button. In other words, cancel will be selected the next time confirm action is used. Now let's look at one example. I have a web page called alert HTML on the uh, local host. The web is hosted locally. So we used IP address 120.0.0.1 and port is 8080. The folder is SMTest and alert HTML. So I refresh the page. And if you see on the screen, we have four test cases. Test case 1, test case 2, test case 3, test case 4. So when I click on remove test case, the first test case is clicked. So that means the first test case will be removed from the screen. And if I click on the cancel button, nothing will happen. And on the remote test case, on this 
pop-up window if I click on cancel nothing happens so on this web page I came up two test cases one is when user clicks on OK button after clicking on remove test case button the selected test case will be removed so the assertion would be the test case one element is not present on the web page after clicking on the OK button. So second test case will be when I clicked on the cancel button on the pop up page, the test case should be on the page or this element should be on the page. So click on cancel. Now let's look at the test script. So I closed this window and dismiss alert. So documentation, selenium to library keyword and dismiss alert. Return is true if alert was confirmed, false if it was dismissed. This keyword will fail if no alert is present. So open browser, we open the local host port 8080 smtest slash alert slip 5 seconds. So the purpose of the slip is to display the web page on the recording screen. So wait until element is visible. So input the checked. This is basically the first test case element is displayed and click button the name is remove button uh, wait for five seconds and dismiss alert this will dismiss the alert page uh, by clicking on the ok button and the assertion is page should not contain the element uh, input checked so that means the test case one should be removed for, from the uh, page now close browser now let's look at the confirm action. So confirm action, we open the web page and uh, slip five seconds as indicated um, for the previous case. It's just to move the um, browser on the recording screen and wait until the test case one check box is displayed and click on remove button. So confirm action uh, it will return its message. So we defined a variable alert text and confirm action we log the alert text message and page should not contain element. That means the element should be gone from the screen. The next one is choose OK on next confirmation. So please remember that Choose OK on next confirmation should be called before the confirm action keyword. So we open browser, open the alert.html file and slip 5 seconds. Wait until the element is visible and click button remove um, button. Choose OK on next confirmation. It does not append any parameter. So slip five seconds and get alert text and confirm action. We log the alert text return from the confirm action keyword and then page should not contain element checked and close the browser. So all three cases, dismiss alert, confirm action, choose OK on next confirmation we will click on the OK button to dismiss the uh, window pop-up or the uh, dialog page. The choose cancel on next confirmation. This will click on the cancel button. So the assertion is page should contain element. So it is uh, similar steps. Open browser, open the file with Firefox, slip five seconds. Wait until element is visible and click button. 
choose cancel on next confirmation so slip five seconds confirm action on the confirm action uh, because we already called choose cancel on next confirmation so the cancel button uh, will be clicked and page should contain the element because nothing will happen and close the browser so I tag it all for test cases with the tag alert now let's click on the run tab and execute the test script so only run test this with these tags now alert start so move the window to the main screen So dismiss alert case is passed. Now let's move to the screen. So confirm action case is passed. Now let's move the screen to the main screen. So OK button is clicked now let's look at the last case cancel button so we move the screen to the main screen now cancel is clicked and the test passed so now let's look at the log file we click on the log So under Selenium Tool Library Test Suite, we have four test cases, and in the test log, uh, total tests are four and four passed. Now dismiss alert test passed, and at the last page should not contain element uh, because when we clicked on the OK button, the first element checked element is removed from the screen and confirm action so it is similar page should not contain element the element is removed from the page after clicking on the ok button so next one is choose ok on next confirmation so please remember that choose ok on next confirmation will uh, work with the keyword confirm action so Choose OK on next confirmation should be called before the confirm action. And here, let's look at the alert text. Alert text is, do you really want to delete the selected test case? Uh, because OK button is clicked, the element is gone from the screen. So page should not contain element. This element is removed. And previously, the element was on the screen. So the last test case, choose cancel on next confirmation. So cancel will be selected the next time confirm action is used. Now we use the confirm action here. Uh, dismisses currently shown confirmation dialog and returns its message. Now alert text equal to do you really want to delete the selected test case? We log the message now page should contain element uh, because we clicked on the cancel button so the element is not removed on the screen in other words the element is still exist so page should contain element and close browser so as explained in this video tutorial you can control uh, pop-up or dialog on your web testing by using dismiss alert confirm action choose ok on next confirmation choose cancel on next confirmation keyword
If you have any questions regarding these keywords, you can visit the robotframework.org website or you can visit www.seleniummaster.com website. Thank you for watching.